time for a hunt. Oh, Chet, my apprentice. One day, you will be a hunter. A hunter? A protector of the island, culling any creatures who threaten its balance. And a protector of the island needs a loyal companion. The Blood Jackal, radiant in the sun's grace. Its fangs are made to tear the flesh of its prey, making them formidable weapons. The Malama Owl, serene in the grace of the moon. Its wings shape the air's currents, and magical power, too. Both are among the rarest creatures known. You must choose one, Ojet. Hmm. And having chosen one, you must befriend it. Go ahead, try. Hmm, which one should I choose? Getting along already, I see. <laughs> you have found a fine companion. And you will be a fine hunter, Ojet. Thank you, Master Juva. What is the meaning of this? It's acting strangely. Stay back, Ochet. It could be dangerous. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Ochet! Ow! Mullet. 
scent of our quarry. It's close. Very close. Aha! There you are, Mr. King Iguana. You eat too much and you've gotten too big. It's wrong to take more than your share. The forest belongs to everyone. Sorry, but I'm here to hunt you and then get back in time for breakfast. Come on, Akala. I'm the hunter, you're the prey. My prey awaits. Yeah, time to finish this. Here we go. No time like the present. Let's see how fast we can capture him. Let's go! Mine now! Now let's grab some food! Takes care of that. I thought he'd be more of a challenge. <laughs> Nothing in the forest is a match for us anymore. It's wrong to take more than your share, remember? The hunt belongs to all. That's also the rule. <sighs> all right, all right. Hmm. What is it, Ochat? Mm. Forget it. It's nothing. Let's get back to the village, Akala. Thank <laughs> you. 
the storied hunter returns to the village. Hmm? Do I smell... humans? Come on, Akala. Listen up, beastlings. Our forest is almost hunted out. So give us some of your forest, too. We humans need it. This is pointless. They're animals. Can't hardly talk, even. Maybe they'll understand this. Hey! If Kohaze hears about this... It's the Warden. The Warden of the Isle. Be gone, O oh humans. We have lived on this island in peace since time immemorial. Now you who came after seek to rob us of it. We had an agreement. We divided the land, and swore not to trespass against each other. Right. And now we want more. How are humans supposed to live here without enough food and resources? Your greed betrays you, as always. You felled the forest so your settlements could grow. Instead of plotting to steal the forest, Better you should learn to coexist with it. We don't need coexistence. We need land. Maybe we should take this whole village. <clears throat> what? What the? I knew it. Humans from the next village. And I still haven't had breakfast. Let's get him out of here. Go get him! <laughs> here we go! This beastlings. Hi, Master Juva. Hi, everyone. I'm back. <sighs> so quick to resort to violence. Thanks, Ochet. Our hero, family's pride. <laughs> Hunting was good today, too. Looking tasty. Looking good. Looking good. Looking tasty. Hold on while I prepare it, okay?
doing? Mmm, good smell. Looking tasty. Looking good. Ochette, meet me on the western hill. We can talk while we eat. Tasty stuff, huh? <laughs> Especially the leaner bits. Yes. Meat hunted by an apprentice always has a special savor to it. And today's quarry was a king iguana, I gather. You are a true hunter, Ojet. Your bow preserves the forest's balance. <laughs> I do my best. Pretty good at this, right? Not just hunting, but also talking. I didn't spend all those years copying your example for nothing. Oh, Chet has grown strong. If we could just do something about her appetite. <laughs> Ten years since the two of you met. remember the one I didn't choose that day. I looked all over, but never did find them. Put that out of your mind. What happened that day was fate. Anyway, I gave Akala enough love for both of them. <laughs> Good to hear. I have ruled as Warden of the Isle for many years now. But I will die one day, just like the creature that gave us this meat. When that day comes, Ochet, the island will become your burden to bear. Uh, I don't know, Master Juva. That sounds kind of heavy. A hunter has to travel light. I'd rather keep going out every day to hunt up some good eating. I see. Tell me, have you noticed the change in the forest? Hmm. It's like the whole forest is... afraid. Warden! Warden! Well now, what business has the chief of the human village here? Forgive my people for what they did. I came to offer this by way of apology. I did not think you had such humility in you. It makes me uneasy, if I am honest. State your true business, Kohaze. Of course. You are beasts, after all. You have a nose for these things. A young girl from our village wandered into the tombs of the Warden Beasts. Danger stalks those ruins. Humans who enter are never seen again. But, this is not the case for you who were here on this island before. Will you enter the ruins and find our lost girl? If you bring her back, I am sure we can reconsider the question of our land. Do you take me for a fool? Those ruins are crawling with monsters. Our kind has no guarantee of return from them either. You ask us to risk our lives for a human. That girl had her fate, 
as do we all. Accept it, and return to your home. Go. Oh, Chet, what are you saying? Remember what you taught me, Master Juva? When it matters most, be true to your heart, not your eyes or nose. But you know how dangerous the ruins are. And this is a human child. In time, she will repay your kindness with hate. Human? Beast? That's not important now. I think this is one of those times that matter most. And my heart tells me to save that girl. <sighs> Very well. Go. I am in your debt, Beastling. My name is Ochet. Oh, and leave that meat here. If you cared half as much about your own life as you do about meat. Come on, Akala. you. A beastling? What are you doing here? I wouldn't worry about the details. But everyone says not to make friends with beastlings. They do, huh? We're actually pretty nice, though. This is a problem.
Have some jerky. Huh? Oh, thank you. I was so hungry. Mmm. This is yummy. <laughs> right? A hunk of jerky makes everything better. If we can agree on that much, we're practically friends already. <laughs> you think? Huh? What can that be? It doesn't feel friendly. What is it? Better go. It's almost dark. Follow me, okay? <laughs> what is it? I'm scared. The night is here. The Isle Birds are calling. Something's got them agitated. Flee this place. Get far away. Calamity is coming. You can tell what the birds are saying? Isle birds are easily spooked. They're more sensitive to danger than anyone else. The forest is calling. Calamity? What do they mean? What exactly is coming? I don't like this. Let's just hurry back to the village. Mm, good idea. Monster. I've never seen anything like that before. Is that what the Isle Birds were anxious about? This monster? Sorry, but I'm gonna need you to move. My prey awaits. Ha! Now! Right. I'm hungry. Shit! What happened here? Village. Our village. A monster came. S Smashing village. Oh no. Where's Master Juva? Uh, fighting monster. Still fighting. Oh, Chet. What's wrong? You stay here with the others, okay? Okay. Let's go, Akala. Gone calamity. Leave this place. <sighs> C 
So, the change in the island was your doing. I have not seen its like before. Where did it come from? Could it be a harbinger of the coming night? No, surely not. The years have dulled my edge, I see. No, Chet, flee. It's too strong. No, no running. Oh, Chet. What kind of hunter runs away from her quarry? And whatever this is, it hurt the villagers! Come on! You wanna fight? Here I am! Come on then! Let's go! Akala! That's 
the stuff. My prey of Chet, that creature was only the beginning. 
A greater calamity approaches our island, even as we speak. The night of the Scarlet Moon. The Scarlet Moon? Once every four hundred years, there comes a night when the moon turns scarlet. This night brings disaster and destruction for the island. So the legends say. Master Juva! Follow me, Ochet. I must show you something. Kohaze. Well done, Warden. I should have known you could best that creature. And you, the Warden's chosen hunter. Hmm. Did you come all this way to offer mere flattery? No, to offer thanks. You saved our village and brought home our lost child. I am in your debt, O oh Warden. Consider our quarrel over territory settled. For now. Come. Master Juva, do humans ever get tired of talking about territory? It is their greed talking, no chat. There is no point in engaging them. Kinda seems like now might be a good time to cooperate, though. Hmm. Come, Ochet. Right. What is this? The Night of the Scarlet Moon? It is an old, old legend. But it appears to be on the verge of coming true. You once told me that the island would be too heavy a burden to bear. And yet, it cannot be borne by any other than you. You must go, Ochet. The island must be prepared to face this peril by gathering the three creatures of legend. What? But Master Juva! If I leave the island, where will everyone get their food? We will manage somehow. Ochet, you are special. The moment I saw you as a newborn babe, I heard the voice of my heart. One day, this child will save the island from destruction.
I trusted that voice and raised you to be a hunter. All right, Master Juva. I'll do it. I'll find those creatures of legend and bring them back. Spoken like a true apprentice of mine. I leave the island in your hands, O Chet. I grow weary. I must rest now. Juva? Master Juva! Uh, don't do that to me! <sighs> Sleep well, Master Juva. I guess my only clue is that freeze. Well, I'm sure I'll figure it out. I'll search at my own pace. I'm starting to look forward to this. It's gonna be my greatest hunt yet! You have memorized your quarry then? And remember, no eating the creatures of legend. Uh, uh, I know that! Oh, Chet! Take care! Be well! Come back! Warden safe. Trust us. Keeping safe. Healing wound. Thank you. Jerky! Taking! Eating! Jerky! Taking! Thank you, everybody. I'll be back. Don't worry. And I'll bring all three of the creatures of legend. See you soon! <laughs>